Well, hello friends and followers. Here again we have the SB200 heat scan amplifier. And I just spent a couple of hours reading up on grounded grid configuration on these and somebody was writing about a super grounding circuit. Anyway, there's been lots of controversy on these 572B tubes and how they are long, big tubes and how they have stray grid capacitance and how that makes a uh, an oscillation and a parasitic. So. People were saying to ground these um, grids here as close as ground possible. They had done that with this. They put these 200 puff capacitors in here. I moved the uh, lugs a bit closer to the ground lead there and put in these um, 1.5 nanofarad capacitors as recommended by a guy who has a number of these amps in the Netherlands. And so I did that both here on this 572 and on this 572. And now there were um, 33 ohm resistors that were transiting through here. I just put a piece of wire in here. The gentleman said that you take these out. There, there were four or five circuits he put on his diagram. He talked about Collins, he talked about Heathkit, he talked about uh, all sorts of stuff. And he said the circuit that worked for him was Citron tubes, and I have Citron tubes was uh, 1.5 nanofarads here on the grid, right to ground, and take out these resistors, and that's it. So, gonna give it a try. Hopefully it won't spark up and smoke, but we'll see what happens. So, the parasitic oscillations in this thing were bad. And it would oscillate just on its own, connected to my Drake transmitter when the transmitter was off. So, whatever was going on, I want to try and nip in the bud. Well, I hope it works after this. I guess I can revert these capacitors back in here and put the resistors back in there, but we'll see what happens. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day.